Our guests today in the studio are The National. We're about to talk to a band called The National. This is one of the most talked about bands on the planet. The new record is blowing up. Number three on the charts. You were recently the subject of a 10-page spread in The New York Times. The Times piece mentions you guys are a band of brothers, but then there's you, Matt. You're the guy in the band who doesn't have a brother. I do have a brother. He's more of a metalhead. He thinks indie rock's pretentious bullshit. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Matt called. He asked if I wanted to go on tour and be a roadie. I'm taking a camera on to make a documentary on the band. Hey. I had no idea he'd never been to Europe. Welcome to Paris. So how famous do you think you are? That's okay. I don't think how fast can you play? What kind of drugs and how many drugs have you done? You carry wallets on a stage with you, your ID while you're when you're playing. Actually, I do, yeah. That's just weird to me. Doesn't leave a lot to the imagination, but we can always blur it out. Don't worry about that. I just want to have fun on tour. I mean, I'm with a rock band. You just need to be careful about not partying. You're you're not a band member. You're you're a crew member. I feel like I feel like the only reason why he thinks I'm on tour is because I'm your brother. The only reason you are here is because you, you're my brother. I feel like I'm on the outside of the world looking in. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I think Matt has gone from working a job to being a rock star, so it's like there's a shift there. Matt, do you have any kind of organization and plan for this film? You need to complete something. You always want to quit things. Do you think I'll be a movie maker? No! Do you think I will be dating a hot movie star someday? I just want to make something good for him as well as myself. Where were you? Like, who were you with? I was with Brian and Scott. They were on the bus. 